Man. So anyway, I uh, had built these uh, inner fender wells with aluminum yesterday, and I, you know, I wasn't real happy with them. Um, I just didn't like the way they looked. I knew I could I could possibly do better. And then a friend of mine informed me that I had the bow tie backwards, and I didn't even notice it when I was doing it. But sure enough, I went and looked and compared it to some things and yeah it's backwards so then I knew I had to rebuild them so I just you know us as modelers we're always trying to make things better um, so I came up with that one that's in there now it uh it definitely looks better I think um, I built it a little different uh, I'll pull it out of there so you can see what we've got here I built it a little different. It's um, still made from aluminum, but the steps I took were a little different. And I'll go ahead and show you guys um, how I did that. I guess yesterday I just was in a hurry or something, and you know, I, I just didn't like the way they look. So, but anyway, just take you a piece of aluminum. Um, I've got. The other one I made yesterday, I flattened it back out to use as a pattern. But what I'll do is, is I'll line it up. Uh, which side's the straightest side here? What I'll do is, is I'll put it on there, and I'll get it, you know. I do realize that some of y'all are not going to have a pattern to use. You can make your pattern out of paper or whatever you want, whatever you need to do. And I want to make this one a little bit bigger so I can fold the edges over and stuff. So what I'll do is, is I'll go ahead and I'll trace this. I'll just trace this out. I just take my my skew here, my uh, kebab skew or whatever, and I'll just use it to draw around this not really pressing real hard but hard enough to subscribe a line in the aluminum so I can kind of see where it's at it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to come back and straighten it up I'm just trying to get um, just trying to get the size you know then once I do that what I can do is I can take get me a straight edge and I'll make it all nice and straight and even and just take your time with it no need to be in a hurry then I'll just come back and scribe it again just to make sure it's all good and straight I'm probably not using the best thing in the world to use as a straight edge but you know, it's what I got here, so that's what I'm using. Now, that's there. Let's see if I can't find me something better to use. Alright, so I got this protractor, and I've got it lined up on this line. And I'll make this line a little bit bigger also I'll scribe it in there pretty good so I can see where it's at this line here I'm not going to make as heavy because it's just the length that I want now that we've got that done what I'll do is I'll make it a little bit bigger just so I got something to bend now that's pretty much the shape that I want it to be so what I'll do is, is I'll get my my little pattern back out here and I'll line it up and that'll give me 
I should be able to figure out where I want to bend it from that. Now, you can see where, I've, where it's been bent before. And I want to go a little higher than that because they were a little bit short. So what I'll do is I'll just make me a little mark right there. And then I'll come over on the other side and try to make me another mark about the same area. Now that's where the top of it's going to be, those two little... You can kind of see them up in here, the two little marks there. So what I'll do is I'll take my protractor and get them lined up so I get a straight line all the way across. And I'll just draw it all the way across. Just like that. Now that we've got that done, um, I'll compare it to the one that I've made and see if we're back to the same size there, which pretty close. So I'm happy with that. And it's about the same length, so I'm happy with that too. So now what I'll do is if you're going to do something with the bead roll, what I did with my my Chevy sign here is I just flipped it over and traced it on the back side so I know I get it right when it's because I'm going to do it on the back side of this and it'll be facing that way basically which is that and that's how you get it right so and I've got this cut so I know what the center is and then another thing I found out too is if you use a pencil it will um, aid in the um, whatever you're using to push it through to help it slide over because lead is um, you know it can be used as a like a lubricant type thing it is slick so I'll just put that on there and I'll hold it down just like before I just go over what I've drawn on here You don't have to press real hard right now. You just want to press hard enough to, to draw whatever it is you want. Just to press it down into the aluminum. And you can take your template off and you should be able to see what's there. But it's not very predominant on the other side. Um, so what I'll do is, is I'll come back over it. Press a little bit harder just to make it to where you can see it really good on the other side. Alright, now there you can see it really good, which is cool. That's what we're looking for. Now you can see it's got bent a little bit, which is fine. You can it's a bigger piece, you can kind of try to straighten it out a little bit. And it will straighten out once you start bending it and cutting and everything. So, basically, when I cut this out, I want to cut it along any of the outside lines that I've got. So, I'll just go ahead and cut this out. 